comes Miss Bonnie, she is walking through the gate, going to her morning meeting, and she's never ever late. Miss Bonnie is the best friend we've ever ever had, and she never becomes cross with us, cause she is never mad. No, sir! Remember when Miss Bonnie rode a horse one day to school, and told us not to do drugs, because they are not cool. You remember the time I was stuck up in a tree, Miss Bonnie climbed up to the top just to rescue me. Or how about that time when we were camping by the lake And little Petey screamed cause he'd been bitten by a snake But Miss Bonnie cut him off then and sucked the poison out If Miss Bonnie hadn't been there he'd be dead without a doubt Remember when the aliens came to Earth last May And kidnapped all the children and then took them all away But Miss Bonnie showed up in the nick of time She pulled out her laser gun and now we all are fine Miss Bonnie, Miss Bonnie, she makes school so much fun And we go and do our homework when the school day is done We eat our vegetables we know she'd want us to And we go to bed and dream of her when the day is through Miss Bonnie, she's great, she's cool, she's fun. Miss Bonnie, we think she's number one. Miss Bonnie, you know it will always be true. Miss Bonnie, we love you. Hi, Elmer. Oh, hi, Cornelius. Are you doing anything tonight? My mom said you could come over for dinner. We're having macaroni and cheese, and for dessert, we could each have a salami. Okay, that sounds neat. What are you reading, Elmer? I'm not sure. It's a note I found in my backpack, and I don't know how it got there. What does it say? Don't tell anyone, okay? Okay. It says, Elmer, you have been selected to join a secret club. Our first meeting will be Friday night. More information will follow. P.S. Don't show this note to anyone. A secret club? That sounds neat. Do you think it's for real? Nah, I think someone's playing a trick on me. Hey, here comes Leroy and Oswald. Well, 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 what do we have here? Hey, guys, guess what? Elmer got an invitation to join a secret club. Yeah, Cornelius, and that means it was supposed to have been kept a secret. Leroy and I got invitations to join a secret club, too. Yep. This Friday night is the first meeting. Wow. I wonder how many other people got invitations. Hey! I got an invitation to a secret club! Oh, I got one too. We all got them! I got yeah. one! Secret club! Secret club! Secret club! Secret club! Starting this Friday at lunchtime at a location that has not been disclosed. There's going to be a secret meeting, but what about no one seems to know? Mysterious notes are being sent our way, the excitement is starting to build. We can hardly wait until Friday to find out more of this secret new guild. There's going to be a lot of sneaking about, we have to be sure that no one finds out. It's going to be hard, but... We must be on guard. We're going there under the cover of night. Look to the left and look to the right. We've got to be careful or someone just might become suspicious and follow us. And follow us. The matter is simply not up for debate. There's not a person around who wouldn't infiltrate. Our secret club, we cannot let them penetrate into our underground. We mustn't be found out. It's our secret society. I'd rather die than be left off the membership list. It will be quite a sight starting this Friday night, the event that can't be missed. About. We have to be sure that no one finds out It's going to be hard, but we must be on guard We're going there under the cover of night Look to the left and look to the right We've got to be careful or someone just might become suspicious And follow us, and follow us Elmer? Hi, Cornelius. 
Did you have fun at my house last night? I sure did. But I think I had a little too much salami for dessert. I had a lot of strange dreams last night, and I woke up with a stomach ache. What's that in your hand, Elmer? Is that the invitation to the secret club you got yesterday? No, this is a new letter about the secret club. I saw it taped to my desk when I walked in the classroom this morning. What does it say? It says, Elmer, the top secret meeting that you were invited to will take place on Friday night at 8 o'clock in the shack at the edge of what used to be the farmer's cornfield. You will receive one final note telling you the password. P.S. Be sure to keep this a secret. Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Leroy. Hi, Oswald. Did you guys get your top secret note about Friday's meeting? My note was taped to my front door this morning. The UPS man special delivered mine to me two hours ago. Isn't it strange that the secret meeting is being held in the abandoned shack at the edge of what used to be the farmer's cornfield before Leroy burned it down? Yeah. I wonder who the president of this secret new club is. Hey, you don't think it could be Wayne Jackie, do you? This is the type of mysterious meeting that is right up his alley. Think of it. No one knows what the meeting is about, where the notes have been coming from, or who the club president is. Hello, my friends. Did I hear you mention my name? Oh, hi, Wayne Jackie. We were just talking about the secret meeting on Friday night and wondering if you were the president of the new and mysterious club. Indeed, I am not, my friends. But of course, Wayne Jackie will be attending the meeting. I have my invitation right here. If you're not the president of the new and mysterious club, who is? I do not know, my friend. It seems as if everyone in the entire school has been given an invitation. Even Wayne Jackie's pet gorilla, Javier, has been invited. We're supposed to get one final note telling us the password. I already know what the password is. You do? Well, what is it? I cannot tell you, my friend. It is a secret. Why do you know the password before everyone else? Because I am Wayne Jackie. Goodbye now, my friends. Wayne Jackie must go trim his goatee. Boy, I can't wait until Friday night. I really want to see what this secret mysterious new club is all about. Um, I think you're forgetting something, Cornelius. What's that? The fact that you weren't invited. Yeah, you're not allowed to come. Oh, I was so wrapped up in all the excitement that I forgot I hadn't been given an invitation. But you'll let me tag along, won't you guys? I'm sure no one would mind, and, and even if they did, you could sneak me in. Sorry, Cornelius. No can do. Yeah, rules are rules. Come on, guys. Let's go check around and see if anyone else knows the password. Okay. Bye, Cornelius. Bye, guys. Oh, this is the worst day of my entire life. I was so excited to go to the secret meeting. I'm all alone. Woe is me. I was not invited to the secret society and i could cry please tell me why i have to sing this sad song no one asked me along everything is going wrong i'm all alone can't dry the tears I'll cry for years Where have all my friends gone? I used to think were dear They left me out I'm going to pout Why shouldn't I complain? My life has gone down the drain Things will never be the same I'm all alone My self-esteem just fell through the floor I don't think I can go out in public anymore I feel depressed, my life is a mess I've got to get it off my chest I never would have guessed I wouldn't be a guest 
thought I'd be a guest instead. He's all alone. He's been snubbed. No one invited him to the secret club. It's just not fair. More than he can bear. Now he'll have to spend the evening playing solitaire. I'm all alone. He's all alone. Woe is me. He was not invited to the secret society. And I could cry. Ooh, ooh. Please tell me why. Oh, why? Sing this sad song No one asked me along Everything is going wrong I'm all alone <laughs> Whoa, Cornelius, why are you crying? Because, Miss Bonnie, everyone in school got an invitation to a secret club Everyone Except for me. Oh, my. Who is the president of this secret club? I don't know. What happens in this secret club? I don't know. Well, then, why are you sad not to have been invited? I don't know. I guess because Elmer and Leroy and Oswald are all going. Even Wayne Jackie is going. You mean all of these children are going to a secret club that they know nothing about? Yes. Oh, Cornelius. I'm glad you're not following the crowds blindly. We never do something just because everyone else is doing it. I know, Miss Bonnie, but still, it makes me sad that all of my friends are going, and I'm not. Cornelius, Leroy and Oswald and I talked it over, and we're not going either. Not without you. What? We realized that we weren't being very good friends. Yeah, we were so wrapped up in the secret club that we forgot how horrible and embarrassed you must be not to have been invited. And if you can't go to the secret club, we're not going to go either. Oh, children, I think you've just made a very good decision, and I'm very proud of you. Remember, your friends are a precious gift from Jesus, and no one should ever have to feel sad and alone because their friends have abandoned them. Hello, my friends. Cornelius. I have some shocking news to tell you. You do, Wayne Jackie? What is it? Javier and I got our invitations to the secret club at the same time. I put my invitation in my pocket, but Javier, being a gorilla and lacking the common sense that humans have, didn't understand what the invitations were, and both times he ate them. Today he coughed up a very large furball, and his invitations were coughed up as well. When Wayne Jackie examined Javier's invitation, I noticed that your invitations were stuck to the back of his. Wow! Isn't that a remarkable coincidence? So here you are, Cornelius. I hope you haven't already made plans for Friday night. And now, Wayne Jackie must leave you. I will see you all at the secret meeting. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already heard, the secret password is Tang. I saw it posted on a drinking fountain. Did you hear that, Miss Bonnie? I get to go to the secret meeting! I think I'm going to go to this meeting as well to find out just what it's all about. We're going there under the cover of night. Look to the left and look to the right. We've got to be careful or someone just might become suspicious and follow us. And follow us. Look at all the people here. I think the whole school must have turned out for this. I didn't know that this little shack could hold so many people. I wonder when the meeting is going to start. I want to see who the president is. Hello, children. Has the meeting started yet? Not yet, Miss Bonnie, but I think that... Hey, look, everyone. Someone's coming through the back door. Hey, it's Arlo. What's he doing? Don't tell me that Arlo is the president of the secret club. Welcome, everyone, and thank you all for coming to my new secret club. This is a club that my mother encouraged me to start, where we can all get together and tell stories about John Glenn, a favorite astronaut of mine and 
probably yours too. <laughs> now, who has a story about John Glenn that they would like to share? Anyone? Well, uh, I'm sure someone must have a story. All right, I'll start. This is the story about the time John Glenn was stranded in the center of the sun and left his water bottle at home. Once upon a time... Uh, hey, hey! Hey, where are you all going? Wayne Jackie cannot believe he gave up his Friday night for this. Hey, Cornelius, do you think your mom would let us come over for some more macaroni and cheese and salamis for dessert? We could ask her. Well, if you don't want to hear that story... How about the time when John Glenn was cryogenically frozen by a giant aardvark that he saw when he was exploring a meteorite? That's a classic. Hey, wait, everyone. Come back. Come back. Miss Bonnie, you're our hero. You amaze us every day. You bring joyfulness out of absolute dismay. We learn secret clubs are only fun when you can bring your friends along and not tell stories of John Glenn. Come on, children. Let's go climb up Mount Vesuvius. Miss Bonnie is the best friend we've ever, ever had. Miss Bonnie is our principal and we are very glad. Goodbye, my friends. And we are.